Welcome back. Welcome back to Lanise TV. Welcome back, you guys. We are here with another reaction of my Jazzy Life. Let me, let me, let me break this down. Trifling, lazy. Um, I am really disappointed in the way that my Jazzy Life talked to her daughter. You talk to Amaya so disrespectful. You mad at Chris? Take your anger out on Chris. Stop talking to them kids like that, for one. You don't talk to Chris like that. You don't disrespect Chris like that. So respect your kids and quit talking to them like that. You need to even let Amaya finish saying what she was saying. And that's exactly what we're talking about. Because you call yourself trying to stress that food out because you know you ain't got no damn food to feed them. But even if you did, or whatever the case might be, or you got all them dark on bills, and you realize you got more than what you can handle. Nobody told your goofy, dodo bird, brain self to go buy Chris no car. To put no car in Chris's name. Didn't nobody tell you to go help Chris with nothing. Chris is your problem. Talk to Chris like that. Don't you ever talk to them kids like that again, and I swear to God. I'm sorry, y'all. I did not like that at all. I was waiting for the perfect time to drop this video. Uh, she talked to her kids like she don't even listen to them. Kayla's trying to tell you that she's struggling in school and you're not listening to them. But as soon as Chris says something, you jump. You, you hop on one leg for Chris and not your kids. And I have a serious problem with that. And then you have the audacity, the audacity to go live telling all me and Amaya cooking breakfast. No, you only put Amaya in that cooking video or what a live or whatever you call yourself doing because they dragged your ass. Yes, they dragged you for filch. And I don't feel bad. I don't. The way she talked to her kids, oh my God, y'all. And you wonder why Amaya be putting you in your place. If I could adopt Amaya, I would adopt her. Kayla is trying to tell you that she's struggling in school and you're not even listening, bruh. But as soon as Chris says something, you, you, you quick to listen to that. Chris left you at home all weekend with them damn kids and you cop the attitude. Give Philip some time to breathe. You thought every weekend you was going to get no, no, boo-boo. No. Get their hair free, fresh, and braided back up. Not them, not them weak ass ponytails that you be doing. Oh my God, I just, and then the birthday party was just even more sadder, y'all. Like the twins' birthday party was even more sad. It wasn't even a birthday party. I just felt like she just did whatever because, you know, okay, the twins ain't really got no friends. But I'm pretty sure you have YouTube friends that could have bought other kids. You could have even called Olivia and said, Olivia, you want to invite Ryan to the, to the birthday party. Ain't y'all cool? That's my whole thing. That was my whole reaction. I did not appreciate how she talked to I did not, y'all. That was so damn rude. And I wasn't even going to speak on it, but it, everybody was talking. She, Jasmine definitely needs to be canceled. If anybody needs to be canceled, it's her. Because without them kids, you wouldn't be shit. And I said what I said, and I stand ten toes on everything that I just said. Without those kids, you wouldn't be shit. And then y'all got the nerve to be over there eating up them kids' food. The way it's big and wobbly, wobbly the Jew is, it's not submissive, Chris. Child, y'all, mm -mm. Girl, she took, she caught herself going live with Amaya cooking breakfast because they was dragging Jasmine for filth. You talked to that girl like she, girl, ooh, I would have been Amaya. I would have gave you a backhand for real if I was Amaya. That's why she get on you and she eat you up the way she do. Because you talk to them kids hella crazy. Ain't nobody going to keep on dealing with that. Talk to that nigga like that, the one that take your money and leave and don't come home for three or four days. Wake that up. When you gonna wake that up, huh? For Chris to have an orgasm, you talk about we needed some us time alone and without legendary. Nigga, you're barely there. What are you talking about? You don't need no alone time. You need to be there with your son. Your son is flat-headed. Have you not seen that? Have y'all seen how flat that legendary head is? Like, oh, child, if anybody needs to be canceled, I'm sorry, it's you, my daddy, like, 
You need to be canceled, map off the map all the way. Because the way you talk to them kids, I could never. I could never. Feed your kids. If you cannot, if, I don't know if. I don't know the grocery store that she goes to. It's expensive high. I don't live in Texas, but I know food has went up. But it's just sad. Um, clearly, Legendary ain't on her case because if Legendary was on her case, um, he would be getting free free stuff. I'm, I'm, you know, I, I just think about all the money. I mean, she's paying for bedroom sets, two cars. Uh, the kids' stuff, you know, the little stuff she did, get them some new beds, and <sighs> it's just sad to know that. I don't know. I I always wonder do Phil up family really watches her videos, and how she talks to her kids. Don't you ever in your life talk to somebody like that again? I swear to God, bro. I will come down there. I will come down there and make sure of where that text is known that you're exploring your kids on the Internet in a very disrespectful way. Don't try me because I do it for real. And I don't care how you feel about it. You're disgusting. You're nasty. Oh, my God. Like, seriously, y'all, that shit had me on fire, bro. Because it's like, how dare you treat your kids like they the bottom of the barrel? Like they beneath, no, that nigga is beneath y'all. Talk to Chris like that. Somebody needs to DM Philip on Facebook and let him know that you're talking to her uh, daughter sideways. I think I'm going to DM on Instagram myself and let him know. You was a trifling mother and you, you oh my God, I'm surprised y'all ain't blew them phone lines up because I know I was blowing them off. I don't care about how she feel about me and I damn so don't give a fuck about her striking my shit. I'm still here. You, you done struck it a million times and I'm still here. You're disgusting. You are disgusting. Put y'all comments down below. How do y'all feel about that? Hit the like button. Um, if y'all want some numbers to the Texas area or Austin, how dare you treat them kids like that? Because without them, there would be no My Jackie life. There would be no My Jacked Up life. And it damn sure wouldn't be no extra Christian Jack. You got a whole YouTube channel with this nigga, and he don't even want to be on there with you. Okay? Keep that same energy for that nigga that treats you like a doormat, that treats you like you the thumb at the bottom of his fucking shoe. Keep that same energy for that nickel. And I said what I said. Make sure y'all comment, like, and subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.